So in this video, I'd like to tie up some loose ends. Um, we know that bits, 8 bits grouped together make up a byte, and we can store a character in a byte. And we know that we use the binary numbers to represent the status of, of bits. Uh, 1 meaning that bit has electricity, and 0 meaning it doesn't have electricity. And when we group a bunch of bits together, we can store characters that make up words that make up letters and documents, but we can also store images or songs. So a three or four minute song might take 52 million bits. Right? A movie okay, may take 200 billion bits. We also have seen in a previous video that um, holes on punch card represented data. Uh, back in the late 40s and early 50s, we used punch cards for auxiliary storage. Holes on a punch card represented data. And then we, we came to uh, the situation where computers use RAM and electrical signals inside the computer. Electrical signals being on or off represent how we store bits, and bits make up bytes, so data. And then on hard drives, we have uh, magnetic charges. And then on our DVDs, we have laser, etched laser burns on a, on a DVD that represents our data. Now, keep in mind that, uh, you know, one bit, okay, one bit or one wire can have or not have electricity. And eight bits together is a byte. We can store one character. A half byte is often referred to as a nibble, and that's four bits. If you had a thousand, a thousand bytes, one thousand bytes. So remember, one byte can store one character. A thousand bytes, technically a thousand twenty-four, but let's round it down. A thousand bytes is a kilobyte. If you had nine hundred and ninety-nine kilobytes, nine hundred ninety-nine kilobytes, and I add a kilobyte to it, I have a thousand kilobytes. That's a megabyte. That's a million bytes. If you have 999 megabytes, I add one megabyte, that's a thousand megabytes, that's a gigabyte, that's a billion bytes. 999 gigs, I add one more gigabyte, I have a thousand gigs, that's a terabyte, that's a trillion. After a terabyte comes a petabyte, and then finally we come down here to an exact byte. Okay, so in our world, we work with bytes, we work with Kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. That's probably where most of us are now. Okay, now, uh, also, keep in mind, keep in mind that, uh, and I'm just kind of going through these, these clips here. This is not really very important right here. Um, one more thought. Keep in mind that as technology has got better, the actual cost of items that are sold get cheaper. You know, I remember back in uh, early 80s, I bought a 64K. A Commodore 64 was 64K. I bought a computer, you know, and I bought the disk drive and the, the monitor and the uh, uh, printer. I bought them for about a thousand bucks. Okay, well, think about that. $1,000 for a Commodore 64K machine. My goodness, today we can get a heck of a lot more storage for 1000 bucks. okay? A heck of a lot more storage. So it's interesting to note that as technology has become better, okay, and, and as, as our storage mechanisms actually increase in their capabilities, the cost goes down.